Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you who celebrate. And even if you don't celebrate, try to at least have a positive day. All right. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now, it's on sale on the Xbox Live, on the Xbox Live service. Uh, I'm playing it currently on my Xbox One X. And uh, this is QLED Q8FN, so I really want to give it a try. I want to see how well does it look, how well does it run, because I've been really playing a lot of uh, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and a little bit of a PC. So I've been mainly focused on PC and PlayStation, but I never played the Xbox One X version, so I want to give it a try. Now, a lot of people ask me, what is this flickering? Well, this flickering that you see, it's the uh, FreeSync. Now, you have to understand that Xbox One X obviously supports a, uh, AMD's FreeSync. So, naturally, of course, you're going to have that FreeSync. You can see the FreeSync. You can see the, uh, the Hertz, 59 Hertz. You can see how many Hertz it goes up and down. So, the, the FreeSync, it's already, it's already there implemented. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I think this is a bonus for the Xbox One X version that you have this ability to use a FreeSync. I have a FreeSync now on uh, this QLED and also on my QLED ultra widescreen um, monitor, which is CHG90. Uh, so here, here's the cool thing about QLED. Not only are you getting a FreeSync, but you're also getting a kick-ass game mode and low latency option on your Xbox One X that's supported by this television. So, and look at this. This is super smooth, man. This is bananas. Super fast. Um, so, if you guys are looking for, like, what's the, the, the best version to go with right now, I would say the Xbox One X for sure. Due to the the free sync uh, and low latency, definitely QLED and the Xbox One X. So Samsung and um, the Xbox One X are honestly, uh, it's usually your best choice right now. If you want to buy a TV and you a gamer, okay, you are a gamer. You're somebody who's gaming a lot. This is it, man. This is no brainer. You, this is your best choice right now at, at the moment. All right, let me uh, land this chopper right over here. I'll be one of those pick them up, pick them up and, and drop them type of a guys. <laughs> uh oh, here comes the missile. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is smooth. This is super smooth. Hold on. Can I can I land this safely? Ah shit. Uh here I want to show you something else really quick uh while I'm playing this. I want to go to the settings. I want to show you something really quick uh while we're doing this. I think this is the important part right here. Now this is a free sync. The reason you, you you're seeing this is because of the flickering that's being produced by a free sync. All right, only camera can depict that. Your eyes cannot depict that. Now here's what I want to show you. I want to go to the general. I want to go to the, the TV display option, and uh, I want to show you the um, couple of things here. Hold on. Uh, my bad. Hold on. It's right here. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. I'm sorry. Uh, you see, this is the beauty about having the QLED Samsung. Not only do you get to utilize the FreeSync mode, which definitely is going to help with a game like this, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But at the same time, not only are you getting a free sync, 
you're also getting the auto low latency mode which is going to help you get even more out of your 4k hdr uh screen so this is something to think about now and if you don't want to use the 4k if you want to switch to uh 1440p then you can utilize 120 hertz refresh rate at, at, at the same time so you got a lot of flexibility here uh and if you have xbox one x and you're thinking about what tv to buy qled samsung it's almost like god sent for you okay let's get back to the game sorry about this i probably got kicked out of course <laughs> And here you can see when you click on the um, the source, you can see that the free sync it's always moving. You can see it up there. You see 50, 59 hertz, 40, 50, 59 hertz. It's always moving. Basically, what it's doing is it's uh, trying to keep up with the uh, any possible screen tearing. So what free sync basically does, it keeps the uh, smoothness of the gameplay same thing as a g-sync so you never have to worry about any kind of screen tear and you're not going to have any kind of screen tear so uh so yeah this is awesome i mean this is pretty awesome that uh you know i think i'm going to spend more time playing the xbox one x version now because um on the qlet because of this it's just more it's more fluid you know here we go oh this is super fast man this is just great again um don't try to oh my bad don't try to uh judge by looking at this video you, you know you have to see this in person and you have to put a controller in your hand to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, you'll just have to trust me that uh, <laughs> this is a much smoother and better experience on the Xbox One X, as it should be, obviously, as it should be. I'm not taking anything away from the PlayStation version. PlayStation version runs smooth as well, but, you know, you got to remember having that free sync uh, on the Xbox One X and QLED definitely helps for sure. It definitely helps having that free sync. Definitely helps having that smoother experience without any screen tear. So, you know, that's a big bonus right there. Oh yeah, this is this is like like it's almost it feels like I'm playing on a PC, dude. It's like super smooth. Uh oh yeah. This is great. Oh, yeah, and another thing, a lot of people ask me, how do you utilize uh, that peak brightness on the HDR? I think I already showed you this, how to do this. Uh, very simple, just go to the settings, go to your general, and then go to Eco Solution. And under the Eco Solution, you can turn off the power saving mode. Uh, just turn it off totally, and you'll see a difference. See this? Do you see it? You see how brighter it is right now? You see? When it's on and when it's off. This is when it's on a default. Actually, yeah, this is on the default. And look how much peak brightness you get when you turn it off. So this is how you squeeze that peak brightness. Uh, that's it. And then, yeah, just, just click it off and you'll see a, a much brighter, brighter HDR right now. Now it's going to be super bright. All right, and now now you're enjoying the HDR. Hold on, I mean it's difficult to see it through a camera, guys. Uh, this is something that, but you'll you'll notice that soon as you turn off that uh, power saving, soon as you turn it off, you're gonna notice just how brighter it is, how how better it looks. All right, but just remember, it's gonna drink your ele ele you know electrical bill. You have to keep that in mind. All right, you have to keep that in mind as well.
I'm not competing here. I'm just doing this for a uh, demonstration, trying to show you some tips and stuff. Obviously, I'm not, you know, playing here or competing or anything like that. I'm just trying to, like, give you some, you know, tips. Oh, I'm going to run you over, you bastard. There you go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Xbox One X version. Listen, oh, listen, guys. All three versions: PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Uh, all three versions are, in my opinion, uh, they're equally great. But uh, oh shit! But uh, to me personally, if you have a Xbox One X and if you have QLED, I think you're definitely going to appreciate. The Xbox One X version, much, much better. Oh, look at this. Holy shit, man. Oh, god damn. Jesus. 